Well, hello there! I see that you have decided to click on this video and are going to watch me play Fire Emblem 9, but if a single unit dies, I have to reset the entire playthrough. Understandable. I too enjoy my suffering. Now, this chapter is the first escaped map of the game. This is a mechanic that makes its return um, from Thracia. And let me tell you, um, this is another one of those very simple, but still, um, solid maps. Let me just try and trade around here. I really should, like, actually give that speed wing to someone. I just haven't, because I don't know, does Oscar really need it? No, he got speed his last few level ups. Uh, I know I shouldn't be holding on to it. But I think I'm going to continue holding on to it. Um. Yeah, let's let's go. So, the thing with escape maps in this game that makes them a little different from um how they were implemented in Thracia. In Thracia, if you left someone behind in an escape map, they were gone from your bar like your army. You left them behind. Except I think you could get them back in a single Gaiden chapter, I think, at like the end of the game. And this one, it's not, it's not that bad. In Fire Emblem, oh, hang on, isn't there a guy with the poleaxe over here that I need to watch out for? Yeah, that guy. Fuck that guy. Um, in Fire Emblem Nine, if you don't get a unit out of um an escape map. You just missed out on some bonus XP, which is a mechanic that, oh god, him missing that might be what the kids call problematic, because, um, what do you have equipped? A steel lance? You'll be able to hit Ike, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, sure, we should still be fine. Um, uh, bonus XP, but you can still... It's kind of like a seize map with an alternate condition in Path of Radiance. The map ends when you escape with Ike. Which, on the one hand, okay, it's different, because you want to get everyone down to get more bonus XP. But it does beg the question, it, it's just a seize map now. Like, now that you don't have to escape with everyone, there's fundamentally no difference between a seize map... And an arrive map, which does kind of blow. Now let's see how Ike handles this. All right, cool, nice. Um, but this map's a good one, methinks. I don't mind this one all that much. Um, with the regal sword, Ike should just be able to, yeah. So. Ah, oh, fuck. Why am I being unable to talk? Please allow me to speak, brain. I have to entertain people, and in order to entertain people, I need to have words come out of my mouth to entertain. Or I need to be playing a skill-based game, say absolutely nothing, and just be so goddamn good people are drawn in by my skill. Which, gotta be honest with the chief, that, that, uh, that ain't happening. Um, and I kind of want to just... Move to the east with everyone. Um, Titania, move over here. Equip your iron axe. Uh, that knight actually cannot reach you. Hmm. Um, let's just get Soren. Soren's the one that I want to kill this guy with. Now, also another mechanic that started a few maps ago, but I forgot to mention it until now. You want to clear these maps quickly to get more bonus XP. There, every map in the game has a special turn limit, where once that turn limit is passed, you start losing the amount of bonus XP that you get for completing the chapter. Now, I'm not going to be to the point where I start doing really dumb shit just to fulfill a turn count, but I do want to um just keep track of what I'm doing. So that I can get as much bonus XP as possible, so I can make my units as strong as possible, so that I don't have to fear RNG. Because remember, one death means it's all back to square one, and that's kind of scary. 
looking at this. This can um this can actually Let's do the classic change what you have equipped trick. An old staple of any skilled Fire Emblem army. The ability to change a already moved unit's equipment simply by asking them to trade. Now, is Oscar going to be able to double? He is. He's not going to be able to hit because Javelin's accuracies are um, notoriously not very good. But this knight is now coming up. And doesn't Boyd have a shiny new hammer? Oh, he's not going to be able to double with it. Mildly unfortunate, but not overly so. Soren can just kill this guy, though. That's cool. Give him hell, Soren. Slam. Is it just me, or did you lag the game a bit? It is definitely feeling like it's going a little slower. I mean, this game is already slow enough. We don't need to waste more time. All right, level up for Soren. Nice. What's that, level four or five? I think four. No, to five. What do you got for us? If there was ever a level up that was more at the core of who Soren was, magic and speed was definitely it. Now, looking at what we got here, we have that Wind Mage right there that I want Titania to be able to just deal with. So... We'll have Oscar... Oscar doesn't necessarily need to get healed right away, I don't think. So we'll heal up Ike, who needs it a little bit more. Then Reese will get some chip XP. Always nice to see. And now Oscar is going to use his Javelin, deal some minor damage, and then Boy can finish him off with the hammer. Yes, I am a genius. Well done. Now he gets enough for a level up. Sweet. All right, Oscar, can you show everyone why I said you're a really good unit? You really like magic. And I guess there is the Flame Lance, but okay, that's the, if that's uh that's the ball game we're playing here. I think it's actually more likely if I yeah I think I want to use the Iron Axe. I think it's safer. So, Boyd, coming on up. Swing and a hit. You're going to dodge this because you're cool. Yes. Got him. All right. We have taken care of that knight. And we're going to get a level from it? Oh, fuck you. I can't even say nice because it's backwards. All right. Uh, put Titania right there. Hand axe. Ike, move forward. And there's now the enemy phase. Wind Mage is going to target Titania. And it's going to be something that we like to call not a big deal. Yeah, you did one damage. G good job, guy. Almost got one shot. Imagine imagine being an enemy unit in Path of Radiance. Just, you ain't going to do anything. You just aren't going to accomplish anything in your life. All right, what else do we got? They're coming up, so I'd better get the party started. I need to come up with more original jokes, but I just keep making the same jokes. All right. Soren's going to move up. Oh, let me just look at this here. Let's see. That guy has a javelin. Maybe. Hmm. All right, how about this? No. Oh, Oscar can't even reach him, even though I would really like him to. So how about... Yeah, we have him bring him down to 11 with the Javelin. And then Ike, with the Iron Sword, can finish him off. Yeah, cool. Um, Actually, I could probably use the Iron Lance a bit. Oh, the Iron Lance would just kill. So let's not do that. Let's um spread the love. Actually, can't you just kill him with the Regal Sword? Just outright? Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just kill him with the Regal Sword outright. Um, what is your move? Your five move, right? Because you're, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Five? Okay, yeah. So if I have Ike, kill him from right here. Reese will be able to come up and heal him next turn. Which works out really nicely in my favor. A dodge. 
Got him. Okay. He didn't even need to get healed. Well, I got the level up, and the level up's going to be nice, because you're up to eight now. So what do you got? Some more strength would be cool. Or you're just going to get a little faster. Uh, okay. Well, we got a vulnerary. I need to trade your items around so that you don't hog everything. All right. Oscar. Coming up right here. Yep. Here at Phylum Path of Radiance, we like to kill the defenseless. Stab. Stab. Dead. Maybe you should have tried picking a weapon. You think we honor the Geneva Convention here? No. We will never honor it. They are merely the Geneva Suggestions. Um, he's a promoted... Yeah, he's technically a promoted unit. Poor guy. Alright, now what do you have? Alright. Does that guy even actually move, is the question. I'm not entirely sure if he does. We'll find out, though. Enemy phase... Alright, so they've all started to realize that there's a problem. He didn't even get a level up to heal. <laughs> Sorry, the shove animation is just hilarious to me for Reese. Alright. We'll just move everyone a little bit closer. Because remember, if you want to be closer to me, you gotta get closer to... If you Fuck, I was trying to reference the song. If you want to get closer to me... If, darling, if you want me to be closer to you, get closer to me. Jesus Christ. Why was I just completely unable to remember that? Alright. Boyd is continuing his reign of dominance. Um, and he's got the level up. Alright, let's see what you got, Boyd. Maybe some strength? Mm, some skill? And some speed? Or just one of those things. You know, that's fine too, I guess. Well, all that well that does mean you you're essentially getting a point of speed with the um steel axe. So I guess Are you able to kill this guy? No, you're not. All right. We'll move Ike up. Uh-huh. Right there. Titania is just going to yeah, take care of one of the javelin fucks. So that I may target the boss easier. Hit. Dodge. And a hit. Good job, Titania. I sure am glad you're a fair and balanced unit. But it's 6 XP. Ooh, we're getting 10 XP on kills now. Moving up in the world right there. And now all that's left is Oscar. Um, What is your attack? 15. Your defense... Eight. That's seven. Yeah, you shouldn't be under too much fire. So we'll do this. This should work out fine. Oh, or maybe... Okay, it'll work out moderately fine. Kind of, not really. And I'll make sure he's in range of Reese. One, two, three, four, five. So right there. All right. Enemy phase... Hit those mercenary scum with everything you have. Does that mean everyone has started moving? Because if so, that's... Oof. I was going to say that's terrifying, but apparently, according to Ike, it is exactly what he wants. Alright. Some nice XP for Ike. Yeah, they're all going after Ike. But Ike should have the defense and speed to not worry too much. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, he's down to three X uh, three HP. Prime killing range. Yeah, now the knight's coming up. Hmm. Alright. Reese. Heal up. Um Oscar could use it a little more. Something I forgot to mention, they actually did do away with um in-depth staff animations. I guess they realized they didn't really warrant an in-depth zoom. Eh. Okay, so this guy, I can kill him with Oscar. Yep. And then Ike and Boyd can combine for the kill on the Armor Knight. Excuse me. That's a kill. Not going to be anywhere near a level, but still looking good. And then we'll just leave you right there. 
Yeah. Um, can Boyd kill... Can Boyd double him with the hammer? No, he cannot. Alright. So, let's instead... Um... Can we just kill the boss right now? Hmm. 12. I'm pretty sure if Titania... Yeah, if Titania and Boy team up on the boss, they can kill him. But it's a little risky to try that when I don't have a, um... When there's still this guy right here. So I think what I'm gonna do... Is just put Boyd right there. Um, and have Titania clear out the last of this punk. Slap. Dodge. Slap. There we go. Nice. Uh, some XP. And then we'll just move back. And Ike is just gonna kinda... Stick around, I guess. He's probably gonna go after Oscar. Or, er, no, Boyd is his target? Oh, okay. Are you gonna dodge? No. Slam and slam. Soren can get that kill, methinks. And that'll be cool. Alright, player phase. Yeah. Reese will heal him up. Because now... With the heal up, even if this goes so far south that Boyd misses the short spear user, he um he can't get killed by the crit. Because the crit would do um 30 damage to him, which isn't enough to kill. Try me, I'll not let even a single soldier pass. Alright. What if instead you let my entire army pass? That sound good to you? That sounds good to me. I don't know if it sounds good to you, but um it's what's going to happen. And I think you need to come to terms with it. Yeah, even if... I would have to get so catastrophically unlucky. There we go. Alright, yeah, we're getting to Gallia. Fuck off, you, um... Fuck. Yeah, there we go. So, because that was a pre-promoted unit and a boss kill, Boyd got enough XP for another level... Which was only marginally better than the last level up he got. Oh, okay. I guess... guess that's what's happening. Alright. Wind. And we will... Yeah, I don't, e I don't even... Hang on. Let me think here. What is your move? Five, right? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no. He has to be up in his face in order to escape. Which is fine. Yeah. Soren's not going to die from this. And he won't get a level up either. Soren did not accomplish very much this, um... Blah, 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 this chapter. But that's fine. He still got a level up. It was decent. It, it's what Soren wants. Magic and speed. He could do for a single point of strength so he isn't weighed down by his tomes. Because I think the weight of the wind tome is literally one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, it's... Rescue. Um, wait. Yeah. I don't know. Does escaping with a party member in tow count as both of them escaping? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. It should. I'm curious. Oh, it's not like I'm going to lose Reese. I'm going to ride ahead, Ike. I want to see if there are any more units ahead. Yeah, everyone has a unique escape quote. Ike, I'm going ahead. Keep road secure. Are you sure you don't need me to stay behind and watch your back? And then there's Soren. I don't like it, but I'll father your orders and go ahead. Watch yourself. And then Ike's just like, time to get out of here. And there we go. We cleared chapter six, that was? And then, hey, there's Rolf, Mist, and they're like, wait a minute. Why are you two here? They're like, shouldn't you be with Grail? And we're like, he's fighting the woman everyone in this universe wants to be stepped on by. 
So we got to go step on her before she can step on us. Um, let's see. That was 126. I feel like that wasn't even 20 minutes. It was like exactly 20 minutes. Hmm. Maybe it's because I'm used to the longer episodes from an LP that just ended and I forgot how short earlier chapters are. But I don't feel like that's very long. Eh. Um, you know, at the very least, I'll just get to um, being ready to fight this chapter. So that when it starts, we can just go right out the gate. Um, because this one is a little longer. It's also a route map. And we got treasure chests. But chest keys in this game have two uses. So we don't have to worry about that. The main problem is this is the last chapter where we don't have access to a convoy. So it's around this chapter you start dropping things because your hands are just full. But regardless, the poleaxe... I, my hands are just full. Alright, how about instead we trade over the iron sword? Um... Because there are no cavalry here that I want to use the poleaxe on. But let's move Ike's overstocked supply of vulnerabilities around. Um... Yeah, I think this looks fine. I guess. Um... Actually, let's have Boyd get that other Iron Axe, because his is run a little low. And then Oscar could probably use that Short Spear? Maybe? I don't know. Kind of. Yeah, it seems as though he's technically able to use it. And then Ike needs to chill around this area, because Maya shows up from right there. And then as we press forward here... Hmm... Go and fuck it. Let's just go. Player phase. We'll we'll do a two for here. I'll give you all a good old um a two for one. As long as y'all remember to thank me afterwards. All right. An immediate attack with Titania. We're just gonna immediately. <laughs> when I said we're gonna immediately fuck that guy up, I didn't mean like. That immediately. I meant immediately, but not that much. But hey, eat shit, I guess. All right. And then Ike. Ike, I can just send straight up. Moving him up to get ready for Maya. And now with the rest of the Motley crew, make sure Soren doesn't get into range of any of that shenanigans. But I can give Soren the kill here by weakening him with Oscar. Uh huh. Oscar's gonna take a little bit of damage. Um, but that's exactly why we gave him the Seraph robe, because as a frontline fighter, he can use more bulk. Um, let's move him up just that one so that this soldier can't reach him, and then we'll finish off this guy with. Soren, and we'll make up for Soren not being able to get very many kills in the last battle. He just procced a Dept and a Crit at the same time. That's cool. And again, that's a nice Crit animation. It's not as fast as the mages of the GBA games, but I think it's actually a little better because, like, the slowness of it makes it very clear that, like, oh, someone's about to get fucked up. And I kind of like that. So there we go. We are waiting. There's Maya. Uh-oh, Dayan soldiers are here too. There's Maya, like everyone's favorite Tellius girl, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I have never understood why everyone likes Maya. She's just... As a character, she's likable, but not particularly memorable, in, in my opinion, of course. And as a unit, she fucking sucks. Remember all of the problems I talked about Ike? Um, and how infantry-locked swords units are really bad in this game. Maya's n worse. Because with Ike... Well, first of all, he has better availability. Um, his promotion being story-locked is a point in Maya's favor. 
but just Maya's worst bulk just doesn't make up for just her class is garbage in this game. This is the worst, in my opinion, in the entire series to be a Myrmidon and Swords Master. Maya does have one claim to fame, and that is the absolutely bonkers busted version of Vantage. In, it's a skill introduced in Fire Emblem 4, and in that game, once you had a certain amount of health, Vantage would trigger, and you would get um, mm. give me a second to remember how to use words. Vantage would trigger, and you would be able to attack before the enemy when you were below half health, if I remember correctly. In Path of Radiance, you attack first. If you have Vantage, you strike first. That is dumb powerful, and that is the one thing Maya has going for her. The problem is the everything else she has against her, it's just not worth it. Maya's so bad in this game. Like, you deploy her when you're forced to, and then you just cut her never to be seen again. Um, how do I want to approach this? Okay, I think I, think I know how I want to approach this. Can you solo this guy? You can. Alright, way to go, Soren. So, yeah, might be a hot take, but Maya's just not very good. In Radiant Dawn, she's a little better, I guess. The fact that there are three triple S rank swords in Radiant Dawn kind of helps Maya's favor. I mean, the Alondite is pretty fucking sexy, but, and also, you know, the lack of competition. Like, who the fuck are you going to give the Alondite to, Meg? But yeah, in Path of Radiance, it's just not a good time to be a class where it's historically never a good time to be. So, yeah. It's unfortunate, but that is the way the cookie crumbles. If you want to use her, like, go for it. But I've just never understood why Maya is so popular when I don't think she does anything well at all. And there's another Tellius girl that I'm confused by, and we'll get to her when we get to her. But I've just never never understood the appeal. No, no. I shouldn't do that. I should not aggro all those I should not aggro both those armor knights at once. Not not a smart move. Not a smart move at all. All right. We'll put her right there. We'll have Maya get the chest key so that she can open a chest. That's about all she's going to be able to do here. And then... Alright, you punks. I'm okay with baiting out both of these guys at once. This, I'm fine with. Um... Right there, and right there. Oscar behind. And then just get Reese over, but make sure not to draw... Too much attention to him. Yeah, right there. Alright. Enemy phase. Yeah, you're just gonna kill... Get killed on Titania. Not a problem. Dodge. Congratulations on the dying. So... Yeah, now that I've sufficiently burned uh, my credibility with the Tellius community to the ground, how y'all doing? Having a good time? I'm having a great time. Titania is gonna get... Another beautiful level up. Because remember, the one thing that she struggles with is strength. Oh god. I mean, that Iron Axe does have nine uses left. Okay. Now, Boyd's not going to be able to kill... Wait. Is he? Those guys have less health than the last guys. Hmm. Okay, okay. You know what? Boyd can kill. Way to go, Boyd. It's probably because he got all that strength. Those, like, two level ups of strength, so he's not weighed down by the hammer. I say as he killed the... Oh, him not getting weighed down doesn't have anything to do with the fact that he was strong enough to kill one shot. That was just because the strength level ups gave him strength. Alright. And he left him with a little bit of damage left so that Soren can kill him. Thanks, Boyd. 
You're such a thoughtful and considerate teammate. Also, fuck you for having a javelin. That wasn't allowed. I don't know who told you that was allowed, but it wasn't allowed. You fight me head on. You don't get to fight from a distance. Only I get to do that. There's the thief. Alright. Start moving Ike on over. Maya will open a chest. I believe this has an armor slayer. I have not played this game in like five plus years, and I remembered a chest in the random chapter to the T. God, I, I need to get a life. Alright. You. I'll just deal with you later. Okay. Boyd. Yeah, Boyd can kill that guy, no problem. So, Reese is going to come down here. Um, he's going to heal up Boyd. Get him nice and healthy. Um, as for you... Um, let me just look at Boyd real quick. Yeah, he has space for the chest key. And you're going to kill him. And then also drag the attention of that other soldier down to you. So that you can, um... Just handle things A-OK. -okay. Some XP. Yep, level up. Come on, Boyd. Can you get some strength? Some speed? Some speed would be nice. There we go. It's very odd to see Boyd not get HP in a level up, and I've just realized that's three straight level ups where he hasn't gotten HP. And I think his HP growth is like fucking 80-something. These are confusing times. But you know what's not confusing? Attacking this thief. Because this is the introduction, I believe, of daggers as a weapon type. Before, thieves just used swords. Even though, like, in their animations and sprites and such, they were clearly using daggers. This was the game that made them um, daggers as a separate weapon type. And daggers in this game are like bows in that they do not adhere to the laws of the weapon triangle. They do not have any advantage or disadvantage over anything, and they're not very good. You do not use daggers to do damage. Uh, the units that can use them, that being, um... Let me see, what does she do to these guys? With the steel axe... She kills them both. With the hand axe, she doesn't and can leave a kill for Ike. Or, no, if I just equip the steel lance... Yeah, she'll kill one. One of them will be super weak and left for Ike. Perfect. We'll just have her, um... Yeah, we'll just have her wait right here. Alright. Enemy phase. Yeah, that thief does not want anything to do with hurting us. He just wants money. So he's going to just beeline for those chests. And I don't remember if Path of Radiance is like later entries, or earlier entries, where if you kill a thief, you'll be able to get the thing he took from a chest. I'm pretty sure it is, but I actually just outright don't remember. So Titania's going to kill that one. That one's going to come down and live with 1 HP, which is perfect milking ex level for Ike. So a dodge... A slap, and a slap! There we go. That is looking good. We'll get a little bit of XP in there. And here comes the boss. Patrine. With a very memorable theme. I really like uh, Patrine's theme. Of the four riders. Uh-huh. She, um... Every Fire Emblem game has the character that people are horny for that they should not be horny for. Um, it's Volter in Fire Emblem 8, Narcian in Fire Emblem 6, uh, Patrine in this game, Sonya in 7, Dem the one lady in three houses with the maximum on the boob slider, wasn't it, Cornelia? Yeah, don't be horny for those people. However, horny people, they are everywhere and they don't care about the laws of morality. Also, Ike totally just cheated the system and moves up here to talk to Grail. And, um... As you'll see, after the enemies all show up, he just goes back. Join up with Shannon and we get out of here. Oh god, fuck, I forgot about the reinforcements. 
Okay. We have entered something that is called a problem. Not not really. We actually have the situation pretty well under control. Um Okay. So let's start. Yeah. Oscar will handle that guy just fine. Boyd. Yeah, Boyd can handle that guy just fine. Soren is likely going to be able... Yeah, and by likely, I mean he just is. And then, yeah, we're fine. Um, Ike, come on up here. Damn it. Okay, I got to use the Regal Sword. I know that good weapons exist to be used, but that doesn't mean I necessarily like having to use them. Oh, God, that's such a cool crit animation. I'm upset that after Tellius crits... They cared more about crit quotes than crits themselves. Like, yeah, hardy har har. Everyone, um... Memes... Oh, nice! Resistance! Everyone memes Frederick's, um, pick a god and pray as, like, the only line Awakening fans seem to quote as cool. And don't get me wrong, it's one of the coolest things anyone ever says. I just wish the crit that it accompanied was cooler. The crit that it, the crit that the line uh, proceeds is not very cool, because crits in Awakening, Fates, and Three Houses are all very like yeah, they're they're kind of they're hype events because you know they're critical hits, but they don't really do anything cool like these games. And Tellius is definitely less cool than the GBA games, but they're still cool. The crit animations in Tellius are still good. Alright, strength and defense, sure. He's been doubling things consistently, but he just hasn't been doing... I guess give it to the Iron Sword. Um... We'll move him, right? We'll move him... Well, okay, Reese's movement is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll move him right there. We'll have Soren take care of this guy with his wind magic. Um, another unnecessary adept. That's completely cool. If I remember correctly, adept in this game procs with skill as a percentage. So whatever Soren's skill is, he has that much of a chance to get a free double attack. You sat 11 right now. You sadly cannot proc adept off of adept. You cannot endlessly adept your enemies. If you could, that would be dope. But unfortunately, you cannot. Because this game is a coward. Now, beyond just that, we have more XP. Um, what is this guy's move? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if I move Reese over here, that uh, knight is not going to be able to hurt anyone, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we're completely safe from him. Yeah. Yeah. Titania is just going to kill him, but, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Let's just... Let us kill the threat. Oh! Like this. I love the pause. The pause in that gets me. Just all the cool twirling. She stops. It's like nothing personal, kid. And fucking guts him. Now let's get Titania back up here. Now, here's the thing. That, this boss, Balmer... First of all, who the fuck names their kid Balmer? He doesn't move. So... Put simply... I'm just going... Yeah, let's just... Let's just... Off... Start offing them. One by one, Gay Tree's just gonna... Bam. Single shot. And I'm giving Gaytree some experience because this is the last chapter we have Gaytree and Shannon for a little while. Gaytree does come back early enough. Uh, more skill. Sure. More skill is fine. Um, Shannon. If I intended to use Shannon, I'd want to use I'd want to have been using him a lot more than I have. Let's Shannon is still gonna get attacked by that soldier. But Shannon's not really going to be in danger. Because he has the escape route just going down, first of all. Um, and second of all... Words. 
I know words. I should use them. He has enough stats to not die to these uh, goons. It's when he comes back that he loses good stats. Maya, uh, get cozy with Ike. Enemy phase. Uh, he has a javelin, which... Is that even going to be capable of hurting Gaytree? <laughs> Definitely not if it misses. And then that other swordsman will likely go up... Oh, well, first of all, we got to deal with this lanceman. He seems to want to take a little bit of priority. And we'll just stab him twice. And there we go. You are dead. We'll get a nice amount of XP. And, yep. You're just going to die to a uh, gay tree. Oh, shit. He has an armor slayer. He did five damage and died. A for effort, buddy. You really tried. This game needs to stop giving me heart attacks over things that genuinely do not matter. Like this. This might look spooky. I don't even know if Shannon's going to get hit. Okay, yeah. He's going to get hit for two damage. Oh, no. And then the knights are going to move up, and that is mildly concerning. I say mildly, it's it's not really. Like, can Gay Tree just... Okay. Would Gay Tree have even taken damage? No. Jesus Christ. Okay. Soren, can you just kill this knight? Or soldier? Nope, you are one damage short. Thankfully, we have Oscar right there, who can weaken him for you. And then you have... Inventory, yeah. Soren has inventory space. So, perfect. Oscar can lower this unit's health. Stab. Dodge. Stab. And then... Oscar will start heading towards... um The center. Because Soren's going to finish this guy off. Get the chest key... I believe one of them is a skill scroll and the other's a stat booster. I don't remember what stat booster or skill scroll, but I feel like that's what's in the other two chests. I could be wrong. I've been proven wrong on many things. But Soren, what do you got for us, babe? Speed and resistance. Hey, did you guys know that Soren's really fast? Like, he's super fast. I don't know if you understand. He is fast. Might as well heal Boyd the uh, chip 2 health for um, some experience on Reese. Almost level 6. Um, I'm now going to... Yeah, Gaytree can just kill that healer. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yeah. And then you... Oh, wait. That's not considered... Mm, okay. Attack with the Iron Bow. And we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Stab. Oh. Boy ever do we got him. He is collapsing. He has committed the die. And now Shannon is not going to get a level up. I want to give him one just to show his growth so that they can not be very good and I can get laughed at. Um, there is Maya. They'll start moving up. Titania. Let me try and... um. I can, I can get this kill for Gay Tree at least. Just get the healer out of the picture. Yep. Goodbye, sir. You, your free trial of living has expired. If you would like to renew, it's too damn late. Alright. Enemy phase. He's going after Gay Tree. Do you have anything interesting to say, Balmer? Hmm. You wretches, you're not worthy of General Patrine's... Yeah. Uh, sure, bud. Sure, bud. I am not worthy. I'm actually not. She would murder our entire group at this current level. Hey, here it is. Are you a threat to Shannon? Because, uh, survey says no. 97 XP. Okay. Yeah. So what's going to happen here is Soren is going to open the first chest. He's going to pick up a ward staff. 
I was completely wrong, as I often am. Um... Mm-hmm. Uh... Shannon actually can help a little bit. He can lower that guy, 918. He'll be at 9 health. And then Ike can get the kill? Or Shannon wants it for himself. I wanted to chip him down. I didn't want to kill him. But what I want clearly doesn't matter. Okay, now it's time to show off Shannon's incredible growth rates. And look. That's completely average. In fact, speed is his most likely stat to increase, and that didn't. But, oh well. Now, beyond this... Um... Let me just look around here. What do you have? Can you double with steel? You can. So here's what we'll do. We'll double this guy with our steel weaponry. He's going to be able to do no damage to Gate Tree. So the Javelin's going to... Yep. Just going to whiff. Hey, okay Now we're going to get some XP. We can try to give Maya this kill. You do have the Armor Slayer. Hey, what do you know? It's exactly enough. Sure. Why not? There you go, girl. He collapses. He fades into the void. And he... She gets... A decent amount of XP. Decent. Um, can I actually clear this turn? Yeah, Ike would have to be able to crit with the Regal Sword, which... I mean, I guess it's possible, but unlikely. Yeah, because... Oh, Oscar can come up and damage, but then I wouldn't be able to open the last chest. Hmm. Or, no, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. No, this is possible. This is completely possible. It's possible by doing this. It's not possible to clear this chapter on, um... Turn 6 of the player phase... But I can definitely clear it on turn 6 of the enemy phase and open all of those chests. By doing that, we kill that armor knight. Poof, he has faded from existence. We get some XP for Titania. We move her back so that Shannon is no longer in enemy range. And then we shove with Boyd. Then we trade. We get the chest key in Reese's inventory. We'll just put that right there for right now. And then we heal up Soren for some last second chip experience. Um, Reese is almost next level. And then we have Oscar come up here. We trade. We make sure that he, in case it's a weapon. And then we open the chest. It was a scroll. It was a miracle. Okay. Yep. And then we have Ike come up here. And now we attack him. And then he'll just die to Ike on the enemy phase. Perfect. My genius is unrivaled. Oh, and he was just going to crit. So all of that forethought and planning is completely null. And real quick, I'm going to check. What's the um, bonus XP requirement for Chapter 7? Oh, it's 11. Interesting. That was completely unnecessary. I had plenty of time. Great! I gotta find my father. Where did he go? Well, he's kicking Patrine's ass. That's what he's doing. And we're done here. We have completed this chapter. Oh, wait! We gotta see this. We have to see unfortunate circumstances. We'll start unfortunate circumstances next time. Until then... Look at this image that proceeds in unfortunate event. And cry. Should have just not been a dad of a lord in Fire Emblem. You know the survival rate of that.